Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tay Marjane and I'm back with the video. <laughs> I be looking so crusty, oh my gosh. But this is like a, a man's job anyway, so whatever. It's kinda hot today, as y'all can see, the sun is out. So, um, yeah, I did pack some stuff just in case I'd be out here at like eight or something and the temperature drop. But, with how much I got going on. I got like four bags and some change, but. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I ain't gonna lie, today was really a pretty easy day. Um, I ain't gonna complain about it. I got home early on time and I actually have a lot of energy right now. I don't know why, but I have been taking uh, this stuff. Um, women's most high vitamin gummies. Um, and I've also been taking MS. Um, I heard this is really good for healthy joints, rabbit hair, skin and nails. So my nails been breaking. As y'all can see, y'all, my nails is like shit. They look like shit. My nails never <laughs> look like this. I think it's just because the hard work I've just been doing lately. I'm like, what the, uh, like, why my nails look like that? But I'm trying to get my nails back growing. To, um, to be stronger because they just been breaking and stuff. Like they get long and then they break. I'm surprised my pinky's still here. This pinky broke yesterday or today. I was like, come on, these are the only two I had left. And I have to like um, file them because they just be cracking and breaking and like, just, what's going on? And this is also for um, what is it for? Oh, supports energy, metabolism, and bone healthy. So I'm trying to get my bones right. And um, guys, I just weighed myself. I just got me aware because I'm about to be um, starting to gain some weight. And guys, I'm 103 pounds. Hundred and three pounds. Like my goal is one twenty five. I'm gonna try to get to one twenty five. I've never been to one twenty five. I've only been to one twenty, and I did like the weight I have, but it wasn't healthy weight. So I'm gonna try to make this more healthy, so I don't have like a pudge because I do have like a flat stomach, and I want to keep my flat stomach. So yeah, um, I also have been stopping taking these. So I'm gonna take these too while I'm doing my other supplements and all the other stuff, like, I just got a lot going on. But, yeah, see y'all. Anyway, so, I just got back from work, as y'all can see. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be adding that or if I'm going to make this a different video. But anyways, so, I just wanted to come on here and just talk and, you know, like, just, talk like I don't know um so I just been working hard I've been working and working and working and working and working like y'all seen in my other video I have two jobs and um I just been trying to do what I have to do for myself and try to have clarity I've been asking God for clarity and um you know like just things like that I have been getting in touch with God, still been trying to read my Bible any chance I get, you know, because I'm just a very, very busy girl right now, just been working, and, you know, I'm trying to get back into school and all that stuff, so it's just like, you know, I'm just trying to do what I have to do for myself, and, you know, the other day when I was at work, it really, 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 really made me realize, like, how thankful I need to be and how far I've came and where I came from and what I was going through and you know I just don't 
me to be dwelling on anything because I'm not where I used to be and I used to really be in some crazy mess and right now I'm just on my own I'm just you know trying to survive and you know I'm I've been really trying really hard um trying to get the things that I want and need and um you know just been saving saving my money and you know getting my credit better and you know just things like that like just to survive in America as a black woman yes um, it's not easy. It's really not easy. And, you know, I love being a black woman. And I'm so sad that uh, Black History Month is over. Like, but it's all month for us. Like, it's every month for us. Because we just got it hard. Like, black people have it hard. And it made me realize when I am be out on the road and stuff, delivering packages, like, how hard we really got, got it. Like, you know compared to other races like i'm like just seeing all these big ass houses with white people in it mexicans asians but i haven't came across any african-american people living in these houses like i mean yeah georgia houston all that stuff blah 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 got all that but it is very hard to even survive in georgia if you're not established already or scamming or stripping or working at a club making tips and all that stuff like if you work in a normal trying to work a normal job like what i'm doing right now it's not gonna cut it trust me i've been there done it and you know i'm not gonna say i don't like where i'm at just because of the racist people but like other than that like the money is good and living situations is good too but it's more higher but the pay is better just for a normal job, like, you know, even Walmart and McDonald's pay is good, like, but would I do that? No, but, um, I was gonna just say that it just made me realize how bad black people got it, like, we need, like, I'm sick of the poverty stuff, like, we need our reparations, like, we really do need that. And it's sad that other races has have it and got it. Like we went through a lot, like, and it's just like all this land used to be ours, or even land that was stolen from us. They flooded it, they burned it down. We couldn't even have our own communities. Like, come on now, like that's just sad. And then I'm looking out here with all these races, like having their own communities, and it's just like that's not right it's not fair i'm tired of seeing it and it's just it makes me mad when i'm delivering packages like honestly it really makes me upset it is cringing to see and it's just sad that when we were doing it and when we were trying to have our own it's it's cringing for them to see us on our own like but they want us to be mad and they wonder why people go to their neighborhoods and do what they do like you know they wonder why and it's just I, I don't know when whenever we're gonna see it change I don't know but I was hearing that um that God put us on a punishment like I don't know how true that is somebody told me that it's in the bible so I'm gonna have to look that up myself I haven't did that yet um yeah so I don't know it's just overwhelming to see and just to see it when I'm out on the road all the time and you know they be with their little families with their little babies newborns and little kids playing outside with their little dogs like you know just a little American motherfucking stupid ass dream and it's just like a nightmare for a black person to see that shit and not saying I'm jealous, not saying I'm hating or anything like that. It's just like, why take stuff from us for us to be in poverty and have to watch you guys go through a, a easy life while we're out here struggling, working two to three jobs, just trying to survive and have food on the table. Can't go on vacations whenever we want to. Can't just get up and go whenever we want to. 
and have a million dollar company and doing this and this and that like while the wife stays at home and I don't know like I'm not I'm not mad or anything to, to be a black woman and be a black person at all I'm just mad at the fact that we went through so much stuff lynching burning hanging all, so much cruel cruelty and just to see it to this day and it's still going and I even seen a video the other day it was saying like how somebody wanted to continue lynching like it was like a person in a chair a chairs man and I don't know what if it was Congress or what I don't know what it was but it was just disturbing just to see that um, he had to be in his 60s, 70s, and he wanted that shit to continue. He wanted to lynch people. I'm like, lynch who? Because you're not about to be lynching us. It's 2023. We're not playing that. We're not having that. Like, come on. Like, if you want war, it will be war. Like, and I feel like maybe one day, like, we are going to be at war again. Like, I don't know. Either it's going to be that or, like, God is just going to come and wipe them out like I don't know but it's it's so tiring like it's just like enough is enough like we've been through so much for 400 plus years to this day and y'all want to continue to like make us suffer like I don't understand like our skin is so beautiful and they just so hate there's so much they're just so hating on us like it's they're haters like they really are and it's kind of scary to see that some people even have fetishes of us. Um, it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot that I just see. And it's just, it's, it's disturbing. And um, also, I want to say that I am thankful for everything that I have and had and went through and you know experienced and everything like that and i'm just so glad to have my toes all my toes my all my fingers my eyes my nose my ears um be able to hear and listen and communicate and i honestly do want to learn sign language um that i did start to learn it when i was like in kindergarten because one of my teachers was deaf and it was really nice and she was like the sweetest person i think she did pass away but um yeah i honestly want to learn that because i feel like there's so many disabilities and stuff like that out there and like normal people just like go like pass it and don't realize that sometimes that those people not even sometimes like they just struggle to just be around normal people as well and like I want to be able to communicate even if I don't understand if I can't understand I want to be able to understand I've been learning um, Spanish um, I already knew Spanish like I'm not fluent but I understand it and I have like un poco un poquito words you know but I, I be trying like the other day like some guy tried to take a package from me and he only spoke spanish and or oh, espanol and i was just like this package is not yours and he was trying to tell me that it was his and i was like mm -mm, no it's not and then he was like um trying to ask me the number of it and i'm like telling him the number and he was saying his number was a different number but all, this is all in spanish as well so I was just like, and then he was like, oh, I see, like he was saying, I see your, you know Spanish, and I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, I know a little something, you know, and he was trying to take the baggage, and I was like, is, this is not yours, sir, like, you, you, I know you only speak in Spanish, but you're not going to try to play me with your Espanol, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, that was so funny, but, um, yeah, so, other than that, oh, and then the other day, I had to work with a deaf family, which was really, really, um, interesting, like, it was really, really cool to 
guide them around. It, this was with my other job. Um, they came to the exhibit with their daughter. She was three. And um, they were such a beautiful family. Um, the mom and the dad was uh, blind, actually. I don't know. I think I said deaf. But they were blind. And they couldn't see anything. And But, you know, they, their hearing was very, very well. Um, their daughter wasn't blind. Um, she was just a normal little girl. And they wanted her to see the Disney stuff. And it was really interesting. I had to, like, let them know what they were seeing, what they were touching. Um, I had to take their pictures for them. I took a lot of pictures for them. And some videos of their daughter and stuff having fun. And, um... It was just super sad to see that they couldn't see the actual show go on like you know they could hear it but they couldn't see and I had to describe them like what colors and everything like that and they were asking their daughter like hey like what do you see like what's going on and she's so cute she was just like letting them know what they see I mean what she sees and um, she was really could talk so um, for for three like she was really describing everything she saw and they was thanking me and everything like that and it made me realize like how thankful I am to have all my body parts and um, be able to see and you know because it's just like wow like they can't even see how they daughter look and she's such a beautiful little girl and it was just so sad to like like see that like you know I, I couldn't really imagine like and um you know raising a little girl and they can't even see how she look or anything like that or how each other look like I'm not sure like how they ended up deaf I mean blind they probably was born with it I don't know but um yeah it's so sad but it just made me realize how grateful and thankful i am because anything could happen at any given moment people could be seeing one day and don't see the next day from anything like an accident or anything like you know and i'm just blessed that god gave me the ability to see and hear um from birth and have all my fingers and toes and you know be healthy and um speaking of health I do I weighed myself I just got a weigher like I'm really about to like change who I am like for the better I've been asking God like I to help me change myself invest in myself invest in my body invest in my mind invest in my growth invest in my finances invest in everything around me so um i got me some vitamins as i as i showed you guys um i also had got me a scaler because i need to see how much i'm weighing and how much i'm losing and gaining and so far so right now guys I am 102 pounds. I'm not sad about it because I've been there before and I already, I've been there before. And um, my goal is 125. 125 is my goal. I haven't never ever been at 125 ever in my life. I always been a small girl, I always been skinny. I never been big or obese or fat or anything like that. Um, the most I ever, ever weighed was 120, um, probably like maybe 122 is the farthest I probably ever got, and that was probably like two years ago or so, um, but yeah, stress would do it, and of course I'm working this Amazon job, and, um, I don't eat three times a day and I don't do that and I did get um, some supplements for myself so that I can have like um, some shakes and stuff like that and then um, I did order some stuff on Amazon groceries like to the point where I can eat three times a day um, even like breakfast and stuff because I don't eat breakfast which I need to I start, started today actually 
I made myself some oatmeal and then I got some bagels and um, you know, do like avocado toast maybe some eggs in the morning and then my shake and um, it's gonna like put some muscles and gaining weight and I'm gonna be going to the gym because I don't want this gaining weight to be unhealthy like how when I was 120 something it was unhealthy weight I was eating fats and I wasn't working out and I was just letting that fat build on me I had a little stomach and I don't want it to be like that like you know I want to be the healthier way because I am getting older and whatever you put in your body that's what you get out and um, we're not gonna we already experienced that so we're not gonna go back to what we already experienced even though that weight was a nice little weight but I want my my stomach to be slim and the other places be thick in the right places so um, I got some stuff for that I got some stuff for my hair um, cuz girl I haven't been doing my hair I just been putting my turban on and going okay or just put a wig on and go and keep it pushing but um i got some stuff because my hair been dry guys like and i've been shedding and shedding and shedding a lot of hair and i don't want that because my hair is so long and i just feel like it's thin like it's not thick like it's not long healthy and thick it's like long breaking and thin like so I got some stuff, some hair products and stuff on my hair so I could keep up with my hair. Probably do some braids and stuff, like keep it like a like some natural styles, some natural protective styles. Cause I haven't, I just be let, letting my hair, like I haven't been paying attention to my hair for some months. And that's bad cause uh, once I was paying attention to my hair, like, my hair was doing fine but I feel like I didn't have the right products anyway and I need my hair to be moisturized and um, have some like nutrition and protein in it and stuff I think my hair is low um, porosity I think I'm not sure like I don't even know my hair type <laughs> that's bad but um, yeah so I got some hair stuff and then um, I've been working on, I got some stuff in my joints, as I can see, some vitamins, all this stuff. I need it. Need it, need it, need it. Um, but yeah. And other than that, um, I just wanted to come on here. Like, I miss you guys a lot. I haven't been engaging, and I want to continue to still have my path on YouTube. And um, I don't care if I, nobody's looking at me. This is for me as well. Like, this is for me when I'm in my 30s and my 40s. I could look back like, yo, this is what I was doing in my 20s. Like, you know, this is what I was doing at this age, at that age. And just watch my growth and watch my testimony and watch me grow as a person. And um, which is just lovely to see because I'm already doing that now. I could see videos from... <laughs> two years ago three years ago four years ago five years ago and i'm like wow i was living there i was i could remember what i was thinking i could remember what i was doing i can remember what i was driving i can remember who my friends were i can remember who i was talking to who i don't talk to now anymore like you know like stuff like that and you just see your progression as it go that's why i love to record everything like even when i'm not doing anything like it's just like Let's just hop up on the camera and and see what I do and do what I see and see what it does like and just be myself and um, I love everybody who has been tuning in and been giving me some nice comments like I really do appreciate that a lot because not only that you guys see not only that I see my growth but other people see my growth and they don't even know who I am like you know like they could tell that I came from this and now I'm not like you know just by watching my videos so that's really amazing um it really do bring a little teary eyes to my eyes because it's just like wow like y'all don't have to sit here and watch me but 
you know y'all don't have to sit here and subscribe to me but you know <laughs> and i'm just an ordinary girl like you know i'm not here to try to be somebody that i'm not and i'm just really 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 proud of myself i'm proud of the woman i'm becoming i am proud of you like i will always will be proud of you and everything i do i do it for you i do it for the lord as well and the lord is doing it for me and he knows where exactly where i'm supposed to be and where i'm supposed to be going even though sometimes i do get frustrated with him sometimes because i'm like lord what are you doing what's going on like what's going on but you know that's just for me and god to figure out like you know, sometimes you get mad at your parents. So God is my my parent, my mom and my dad at the same time. So it's just like, you know, I just got to trust and have faith and keep going, keep pushing no matter what I'm doing, no matter what it is. I just got to keep going. And I hope that I can motivate somebody, another beautiful black woman out there, even if you are a, a, a male figure as well male like it doesn't matter a kid teenager grown woman grown man i don't i don't care i just hope that like i'm actually touching somebody and you know like especially like for those who don't have anybody like hugs hugs I love you all and I love you guys so much and thank you guys for tuning in and I love you. I see you guys with another video. Make sure you guys go support my TikTok and stuff. I'll be on there as well. I'll be talking on there too and everything will be linked down below. My website is up so if you want to check that out, you can check that out as well. And I see you guys with another video. Peace. I love you guys so much.